you know, it's until you kind of get under the skin of these things that you start to realize that, that really what these events do and, and, and track days and other ones like this is they, they give people an outlet. The fact that it benefits people, I think, from a, a safety and an awareness perspective is, is just an added bonus. My name is Rob King. I run trackdays.e with my partners, Vicky and Stephen. Trackdays.e are our track day operators. Yeah, we saw an opportunity to do it seven or eight years ago, and you know what was a hobby has, has turned into something full time now. So today we're in Mondello Park, which is the only international racetrack in Ireland, just outside of Nace in County Kildare. It's a 3.8 kilometre circuit, best track in the country, and it's it's an amazing facility and really, you know, when we started this, we started off doing five or six events a year and, and we've just kind of very, very steadily grown it from then, you know, to doing one a month and, and now this year we're doing, I think we're doing nearly 20 events this year. We're going to Goodwood later on this year um, to the Revival Festival, which is going to be awesome. So. So we would have a track day kind of once a month. Let's take the, the Mondello ones. You turn up on the day, unload your car, get a garage if you've booked one, and then we do a driver briefing where we run through all the, the, you know, the safety precautions, all the do's and don'ts. We bring the beginners out for sighting laps and a, a session on their own at the, at the start of the day. And then we run what's called an open pit lane. So basically, it's just a free-for-all, which is, it sounds like something that you shouldn't be allowed to do, but you can still do, which is amazing. So, the, the track is just open. You can come and go as you please. You might do five or 10 minutes. You could do half an hour on track and then come back in, have a cup of tea, talk to your mates, go back out again whenever you're ready. My daily car is a, a boring family uh, Volvo XC90 um, with seven seats for all the kids. Uh, but this is the, the toy, the pride and joy. It's a Radical SR3, which is a space frame chassis, fiberglass body, and it's got a Suzuki Hayabusa motorbike engine in the back with a six speed sequential gearbox. So the great thing about it is that it's got two seats so you can bring people out on track days like this. So it would be kind of similar speed or as fast as some of the slower single seaters like a Formula Renault or something there or thereabouts. So you can get a real kind of single seater F1 type experience you know, with a passenger. But we have Mini Cooper that we rent out. It's a real multi-purpose car. It's built as a race car, so for the Mini Junior Challenge, which is an initiative that Mondello have launched, and it's for kids from 14 years and up. You build one of these Minis, put a roll cage in, harnesses, all the bucket seats, you know, the safety stuff. They've got a great package, the whole lot. You can come down and do test days for free, and they've got the garages and media training, all kinds of stuff, and it's really preparing them to, you know, have a career in motorsport if they want to. So anyway, that car is built to those regulations. So it can be used for that. For my young fella, if he wants to go and do that, here he can. We can do hill climbing in it, we can do rally cross, and we can also hire it out for track days for customers who want to get a feel for it. If they don't have a car that's suitable or wouldn't be willing to bring their own car on track, it's a perfect thing to learn it. You would hope that what we do is seen in a positive light because there are, as you can see here, there's a, an awful lot of people who turn up, you know, month in, month out to, to come and drive their cars on track. And there's not many places that you can do that, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's irresponsible to be driving, you know, like this out on the road, obviously. Uh, this is the place you can go and do it. Like, I see us as facilitators, you know, we enable people to, to do that kind of stuff. And I would imagine that you know, if you're completely outside of this motorsport world, it probably doesn't have a, a hugely positive image. You know, it's until you kind of get under the skin of these things that you start to realize that, that really what these events do and, and, and track days and other ones like this is they, they give people an outlet. The fact that it benefits people, I think, from a safety and an awareness perspective is, is just an added bonus. We get people from all walks of life here from you know, some 18-year-old kid who's just borrowed his mother's Micra, right up to people who've just gone out and bought the latest McLaren 720, and everybody and everything in between. So, um, yeah, it's great. What we're also finding as well, and I think the girls over in Formula Female who have a lot to answer for, we're seeing so many more women taking part in track days uh, in the last couple of years, which is amazing to see. Track days are extremely safe. It's, I mean, it's what it is not is, is not a race day. We specifically state in our briefings that there is no racing allowed. Yes, you can go out, you can drive your car to the limits and you can kind of you push it as hard as you want, 
put the door to door kind of jostling for position, that isn't a thing. So the only accidents that generally happen are when people run out of talent uh, on their own. Uh, and they just, you know, they might break a little bit too late and they, they end up in the gravel trap. You know, we touch wood, we've never had, you know, any kind of serious accident here whatsoever, other than, you know, people just having a little bit of a moment themselves and uh, ending up in the gravel trap and having to have that kind of embarrassing toe back to the, the pits. Of course, we've got the Mondello Park track team running things here as well. So it's Mondello's team up in the tower and Mondello's marshals. So from our perspective, really, we're getting the people here and looking after them when they are here. But all the, you know, the critical safety stuff is, is managed by Mondello Park and who are doing this day in, day out. As we mentioned, you know, Mondello are running these experiences here all the time. So they need a large pool of instructors. All of the instructors that are here either race or have raced. So today we've got Alex Denning, who's probably one of the quickest, quickest drivers in the country. Normally he's racing McLaren GT4. Today he's in the, the mighty Mini Cooper. <laughs> I'm sure he's delighted about, but uh, they do, they love it as well. Like, you know, they're, they're, they just have petrol flowing through their veins. And to be honest, it genuinely, I don't think it matters to them whether it's a Mini Cooper or a McLaren. They, they enjoy doing what they do and they're very, very good at it. There is that kind of un, unspoken kind of respect amongst, amongst petrol heads where they, like, exactly like you said, like whether they're driving a Mini around a field or a, a McLaren, you know, around the Nürburgring or whatever. You know, there's a there's an understanding between them. We we really only started to expand in a in a kind of meaningful way this year. I, you know, outside of Ireland, and what we want to focus on is track-based events. Not all of those will be ones where it's a track day where you're driving. It might be that we're going to a, a, a motor race. Oh, so for example, we might go to the the Nürburgring to the N24, or we might go to the Le Mans Classic next year, or we might go to, who knows, we're going to go to Goodwood, as I mentioned earlier on, to the Revival. We're not driving on track there. We're driving from Dublin over to the UK to Goodwood and staying in some fantastic hotels and hopefully eating some amazing meals on the way. It's just about a, a motoring track-based event and, and, and journey, you know? So we want to do more of that, and the reason we want to do that is because they're things that we ourselves actually want to do. So, you know, we want to go on these trips and this is a vehicle for us to do it. So uh, if we can bring some people along as well, um, fantastic.